So, what can I say about Jimin? What can we say about Jimin? Uh, his solo song Lie is easily my favorite uh, of the BTS members' solo songs. In fact, it's one of my favorite pop songs of all time. I listen to it all the time. I think it's brilliant. I think that the arrangement of it is just fantastic. And I think that the the inherent irony of the lyrics matching up with the music itself just kind of drives home how great it is. So <clears throat> I actually have high expectations for anything that's Jimin at this point. I feel like he's got like a very special sort of a, a very special aura about him in general that he's always had. But inside of a group, it gets a little bit lost uh, so when he goes solo, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, damn, dude, this guy, like this guy can blow up the world. Uh, so I do, I do have high expectations for this. And I, and I normally don't like going into songs with high expectations because it's easier to get let down that way, but I, I can't help it because I, I know what kind of talent level he's at. And I also know what kind of music he can do. So I'm freaking ready, man. I'm freaking ready for some Jimin here. Chat's going hard right now. <laughs> Chat's going hard. People are saying I'm not ready, and I think they're right. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Hey. What? All right, you guys were ready that I wasn't ready. I, you guys were right that I wasn't ready. You were ready that I wasn't ready. I, nobody's ready. Let's just be honest. I, nobody's ready for this. That uh, it sounded like a horror intro. <laughs> it sounded like the beginning of a horror video, and it looked like the beginning of the Black Swan video. So, uh, are we gonna get a little Jimin classical dancing too? Because that's, you know, that's kind of like what I think of when I see those, that uh, sort of like, the formations that they're in. None of what I'm doing right now is is that, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, one more time. I loved that intro. Ugh, it's, it's creepy, man. It's like Phantom of the Opera. There's no way that's him hitting that note right there, though, right? That's that's got to be it. It's got to be a female. All right, I, you can feel the dance heaviness that's coming here. Oh, it's the choir from On. Cool. I love that they reused them. Whoa. Hennessy. Whoa. Jimin, my bro. <laughs> you got potty mouth on you. It, 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 huh, huh, huh. Um, wow. The vocal sounds that are coming out of this guy right now, dude. It, like, it didn't sound like him, and then it sounded like him, and then it didn't sound like him. And it's like he's all, he's kind of going hard on, on, on these vocals, like, like I've never heard him do before, man. It's freaking, what? I got a good time, get some to get mine. Help us be broke, hell is it not? Wow. Bro. There he is. Damn. Can I just say that I love his whole thing that's happening right here? Like his whole style, bro? Like the all black and the... Oh, you hear that? That freaking vocal thread too nice hey don't look at me like that bro come on 
Ugh, it's dirty, man. So much of this is about the vocals, and I love it. It's cool because it's like the background instrumentation is actually really unique for pop music. So, so I like that. The dancing obviously looks awesome, but the vocals are not taking a break, dude. The vocals are all over the place in the best way possible. Like, I love when you want to be experimental. Like he to me is like, like Lie was so experimental. This feels the same. It's giving me that same aura. You know, like he's willing to try stuff and step out of the box. I love that for him. Cool. It's got like a big epic stadium feel to it. So are the lyrics like set me free? Is that like I'm now like I don't have to be in a box anymore? Like now that I'm doing solo thing right now, like I can just do whatever the hell I want. Is that what he's talking about? Let me know. The leather jacket's working, man. Mmm. Oh. What the hell? Whoa. I mean, the dance is so hard bro like I, I i don't know like it's just sharp and edgy <laughs> you know what i mean it goes so hard bro look at that look at what is going on here what's it got written on him oh sick god the visuals are so good you know what's awesome about this? It's so simple because it's just one room, right? Like, we're just in a room. And instead of coming up with this crazy big video, they were like, we're going to let Jimin and the dancers take center stage. Like, this is his solo song. Let's give him a chance to just... It's all about him, you know? It's all about him. It's not about the, the crazy video production or anything like that. It's about watching him do his thing, and I think it's great. I mean, the audio has a lot. Like, his vocal styles are changing so much. They're doing a lot with the production, especially in that second verse. But it makes it kind of come across as, like, like this fresh take on, on what Jimin is capable of. He's a very pretty man. Oh, all stuck in my head now. Oh, there, it's back again. It's getting all... Ugh. Freaking cool, bro. It's freaking cool. I feel like... Wait, shh. Everybody shut up. He's in white now. What happened? Is he free? What does the change to white mean at the end? Is it because he's free now? Is somebody tell me. Is he free now? What's happening? Dude, I gotta say, like, there's, um, and I was talking about how much I liked Lie before this started. This has a lot of the same sort of, um, uh, atmospheric, um, vibes that that one has, where it's like, it is a pop song, 
but there's also this like kind of classical element underneath it and there's these shifts from this like major to minor tone sound like especially in the beginning and the end that just makes it feel a little bit grittier a little bit more dangerous than um what a regular pop so- song would sound like this was oh man this was exactly what i wanted it to be this was exactly what i wanted this song to sound like the behind the scenes he said it was about him overcoming his depression okay nice oh i love that then i ooh i love that So when you think about the lyrics and think about the sound of the song and how it kind of mixes the the major and the minor tones and how depression works where it's like it started, the song started at its most minor stage, right? Like when the, when it first came in, like I said, it sounded kind of like a horror, right? Like the beginning of a horror movie or something like that. And then it got more hopeful and more more positive as it went on and then he was like breaking free with like the the dancing and stuff like that and like i feel like we saw and heard the transition of his state of depression going to a state of being okay and then it kind of came in a little bit more at the end that like kind of scary sound but the way that i take that is it's like if you have depression like you kind of like It never goes away fully, so, like, it can come back, but he now knows that he's able to get out of that state of mind into a more positive place. 